when Hussein and Isabella came in, did they give you any information from the outside world? Obviously, Hussein's uh, no, it wasn't Hussein. Isabella slipped up with oh, yeah. uh, the whole thing, but Akeem didn't pick yeah. up on it. Mm-hmm. I don't know how he didn't pick up on that. I really don't. Um, Are you cancelled or anything like that? She got Isabella did get in trouble a couple of times because she said a couple of things to Lewis because Lewis was talking to her at the bath and she was she, he was talking about Kay and he was saying, oh, I don't know whether I came across badly in that. And she went, I really don't think you have anything to worry about that. OK, yeah. So it, but <laughs> she didn't. But it, they really didn't give us that much. I mean, Hussain slipped up once in the kitchen when I was talking about football. Um, and he basically told me that Aston, uh, that Steve Bruce had been sacked. But that was about as much as the same did. Um, Isabella was a little bit, a little bit worse. The only thing we thought is whoever they attach themselves to, there might be some sort of inkling as, yeah, that type of thing. Um, mm. But I didn't, as soon as Hussein came after me and Lewis, because in my head I was not going to be very popular because the whole coming out thing, I thought people would have taken it the wrong way. I thought it was going to be hated by my family and friends. I thought the public were going to hate me. I thought it was all going to be terrible. So when he came after me, I thought, well, I, don't, I think I thought Lewis F was going to be popular, but I thought, well, he can't be coming after me because I'm popular. He's just coming after people who he wants to come after. Mm. So uh, but obviously I, what I didn't know is we, me and him were quite a popular. Well, we were quite a polarizing pair, let's be honest. But we did yeah. have quite a following on the outside as well. We didn't know that at the time. And that and the same said, he said to me in private message, he said, I came in and as much as I liked you, coming, I wanted to break you and Lewis F up. I wanted you two to mm. be head to head. Um, and mm. I think what he should have done in hindsight is when he had that mystery box that none of us had a clue about, he should mm. have put me up for nomination. He should have yeah. given yes. nominated me. Right. Lewis F would have been up anyway. Yeah. And then he would have had Hussein, Lewis F and yeah. me yeah. head to head. It would have been the perfect team. But he let his whole vendetta against Lewis F get in yeah. the way of his actual game plan. And yes, it messed the house up even more mm. because nobody had a clue who it was because people thought, mm. well, Hussein wouldn't pick Lewis F because that doesn't make sense. Yeah. If mm. he'd have picked me, it would have made total sense because mm. he'd have been the only one that really would have done it. But he did. Mm. He let his personal vendetta get in the way mm. of his game. And obviously it backfired massively and he got he got booed out of the building, which was, that was very, when when we heard those, because we heard those boos, they were, in, they were intense. And that's when we all thought, because then Tomas got booed. And that shocked us because we thought Tomas was going to be loved. And I he got massively Tomas. booed. And we were all like, oh, my goodness, none of us are safe. We're all going to get booed. We're all hated. The show's been cancelled. They're there because we've ruined the show. We've ended the series. What have we done? And we were all, you know, panicking about a public perception. The super fans love Tomas. Yeah. Oh, I love Tomas. Yeah, he's. I think the casual viewer that, I think even the whole format, the more sort of game oriented format with bitcoins and game changers, I don't think it went down so well with the general viewers. Really? And yeah, I don't think so. But like super fans that, especially ones that watch international versions, we kind of appreciate appreciate it. What Big Brother were trying to do and introduce, and we appreciate Thomas Thomas for playing the game. But I still think Mm. public in general punish game players, which is oh definitely, Mm. yeah, Mm. definitely. And the thing is, he wasn't the only one playing a game in there. He was just the only one open about playing a game in there. That was a difference. Yeah, like, like you were playing a game, Cameron. <laughs> I know I didn't. I, I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, I took none of the I took none of the the coins in most of the time. I hated the whole the game thing. I just I used to, I always felt bloody bad about it. I got such a guilty conscience. I wasn't playing a game, but there were people playing. I got one. However, go on, guys. Did you not? Did you not play knowing that it would look it would, reflect, would reflect badly? No, I did actually mention that in there. I said that to Brooke when we didn't take anything. I said. By not playing the game because we didn't want to, I said to her, we'd probably come across like we're playing the game because we're looking to come across as saints. But I said, yeah. at the end of the day, I didn't want to. I know it sounds ridiculous because unscrewing a few coins is not selling your soul. But in my mm. in my brain, I was thinking if I screw these these things, and I, honest to God, I, I went to screw K's off. I was screwing mm. K's off and I was going, well, that's for the sly digs. And I was like, oh, no, I can't do it. I mean, mm. a part of me wanted to, but I just couldn't do it because I didn't want to. What I didn't want it to do is is change. I didn't want the game to change me. And it did in the mm. first week a little bit with the whole thing when I went in and tried to make a deal with Akeem, Isaac and Lewis G. And I just thought this is and that's where I thought, no, I, I don't want to. I'll play the game as much as I have to play the game because it is a game. But I want to be myself and I don't want to get lost in the game and start changing who I am. So that's why I just didn't bother. And I, I again, I was aware of how it could come across. And I probably came across like I was looking to be some sort of saint. It genuinely wasn't because it was funny. It's funny you said that because it's literally the conversation I had with Brooke I said and Brooke was like well mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't understand the task anyway so I mean yeah. I just didn't get it I mean she said I, I'd have taken some for that understood the game and I was mm-hmm. like we, were prob- we have probably come across like we did that deliberately mm. to look good um, yeah that's just the way it is at the end of the day um it's impossible to you can't justify everything that you do in no. there you just you just do right. things I just did it's like with a mystery box part of me really wanted to be because mm. I could have won it 100 because mm. I was top and I wanted to make sure Lewis because we all thought in our heads that that was going to be a victim on the spot 
in yeah. our heads. That's what we all thought. Yeah. So I thought if it's a Vic on the spot and a Sane gets it, Lewis F is, mm. is absolutely fucked. Yeah. And most of the house yeah. didn't like Lewis F at that point. So the majority mm. of people that would get that box would, would screw him over. Yeah. So I thought the only way I can guarantee his safety is by doing it. But I was sitting in there and I was debating about doing it. And in the end, I thought, and I think I said something like, I just, I don't want this game to change who I am as a person. Mm. And I, I know it, it sounds ridiculous, but it's so intense in there. It feels mm. like if I rip one on that paper, that mm. I'm selling my soul to the devil, as ridiculous mm. as that sounds. I just couldn't bring myself to do it, even though it's a game, even though it's a bloody mystery box. It doesn't really make much difference at all. Still didn't bloody do it. It's pathetic, really, in hindsight, because then obviously we, it was killer nominated. But We were fr- fuming with you because we thought you'd screwed Lewis F over there by not doing that, because when Hussein got the box, we were going, no! Yeah. But then it did, it, that, luckily that week it didn't matter, and we were pleased that you evicted Isabella. We thought it was the fair thing to do because well, it's not been as long. Oh, it's awful, though. Because my one of my worst nightmares, uh, there was little, like two, three things I really didn't want to happen when I went in there. One was the whole coming out thing. I never wanted that. I didn't want to be outed in the house. That was one of my big fears when I went in. There was another thing that I was worried about on the outside before I went in. And then the third thing was evicting someone on the spot. So then obviously when I when I had the power and as soon as they said that you're immune, I thought, well, this, this is too good to be true. And obviously, luckily, and Akeem feels like it was written in the stars because obviously Lewis F got saved in the game changer. Otherwise, I'd have saved him over Isabella or Akeem. And that's that's just, and, and, and everyone knew that I would save of Lewis F for, for well, anyone. I mean, um, that no, was that, the that uh, was what, Lewis saved himself in that in the dominoes. Oh, it was the, it was the key thing. It was the the little key thing. Oh, the padlocks. The padlocks. That's it. That's yeah. it. yeah, yeah. So and he I went thought, like like that when he went. Oh Christ! I can't believe when he did that. But then it's I so knew. Cool. I knew one hundred percent that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I was going to have to do and I I couldn't uh, number one I'd nominated Isabella in quick nominations anyway because I think I nominated mm. Isabella and Sean I don't know why I nominated mm. Sean God's honest truth I don't know what I was doing but it was just one of those things where I just couldn't think straight I thought mm. I don't know what to do I had like four three names and I thought who am I least closest to and I was like Sean and I said it so I do that's one that's the one nomination I do regret but obviously I hadn't put Akeem up so if I stood there and evicted Akeem mm. it would have looked like I was a, I was evicting him because I thought he was popular in the public mm. obviously Isabella went out and said that I evicted um, Lewis, because I was jealous of her relationship with Lewis, which, oh, yeah, yeah. which yeah. is which is not true whatsoever. Mm. And, and again, if it came across like that, it came across like that. No, I can't. You can't defend everything you do in there. At the end of the day, people. No, are exactly. And it wasn't that. It was just that I, I hadn't. I'd known her for two weeks. I'd known Akeem for six weeks, and our relationship was really going well. Mine, Akeem's after we'd nominated yeah. each other like ten times. It was and actually Akeem, improving, whereas and my Akeem relationship was so hadn't even got started. Akeem was so nervous. I so yeah. was shaking. Bless him. Oh, he I'm was an absolute mess. An absolute mm. mess because he was up most weeks. He thought mm. this was one week where he wouldn't be up. All of a sudden, he's up again, and mm. it's now a case of I'm standing there and I literally have his fate in my hands. Exactly. Which is super, and I hate as a fan of the mm. show when another mm. housemate evicts another house. It really mm. pisses me off. Yeah. So I was frustrated that I was frustrated with the show. I was frustrated with myself because I knew what I was going to have to do and I knew how much yeah. I would hate it if I was watching it from the outside. But mm. um, no, I don't. I don't really. Think, I know obviously Isabella was always going to hold a little bit of, and I totally understand it. I ended her experience is totally understandable, but I do now. I'm not going to say that. I don't want. I don't want to be. I don't want to be bitchy. But the way she acted. Oh come on! Bit. She wasn't well, that I'll interesting. Say, I'll say it. I'll say it because what all I find funny is obviously I came out the house and I heard that she'd obviously been talking quite a lot of crap about, me, which is fair enough because I evicted her. That's fine. And saying that it was because I was jealous of Lewis, which is a load of bullshit. But anyway, then the first person that comes up to hug me when I've won, as soon as I'm near the camera, is the paparazzi. Is Isabella? Which I mean, I. Don't I don't know. I mean, maybe there's nothing to that, but it just looked a little bit forced. I've got the money. Maybe she knows I was feeling bad. I don't know. I don't know. But it just felt a little bit, a little bit fake. But there we go. Uh, you've got something there. You've got it out of me. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't do much to get that out of you, to be honest. No, you just, I got it out of myself, let's be honest. Re- re- <laughs> reflecting on that night, do you, I know you, you said you were becoming friends with Akeem at that point anyway. Do you think, in retrospect, like eliminating a threat like a king would have been a stronger game move? Because Isabella, mm. she was nothing to anyone, was she really? Well, obviously, I knew a king. I, in my head, a king was going to win the show, and that, that yeah. from pretty early on. But I thought to myself, I can't stand it and yeah. evict somebody because I think I that is going to help me. I, I can't bring myself. I mean, for Christ, I couldn't bid one for the mystery box just in case no one else bid it. I couldn't. Mm. I couldn't screw a coin off K, who for the whole mm. week had been going. Get me out. Where the mm. guy exit? <laughs> Shut up, Kay. It was, it was doing my head in when she did that. really does annoy me when people do that. So yeah. I couldn't even do that, let alone a Victor Keane based off of the fact that I thought that he was a threat. I couldn't do it. I mean, it didn't even cross my mind, to be honest with you. Um, 
did you, I mean, did yes, you not... game plan wise, it would have been smart to do that, I guess. In in, in ret- but I would have never have done it, even knowing what I know now. Still, never ever would I have evicted a key because that's just not. I know it sounds it sounds so cringe, it sounds pathetic, but that's just not the person I am. It's not. I did never would have wanted to do that. I believe you. I fully you... Believe you think you've been so genuine with all these answers. So, <laughs> thank you. Do you think? And do you question. think that? Um, sorry, Gaz, carry on complimenting Cameron. I know. Uh, do you think? Do you think that if Lewis F would have stayed in, he would have had a good chance of him? Oh, definitely, definitely. I think me and him would have. I didn't know at the time, and I'm not saying this because I thought I was going to get be in the top two. But knowing what I know now, I think me and him mm. would have been in the top two, and then it I would do just too. Be a case of, it would. I I think he probably would have won, but I think. It, it, we, he was getting to a point where he's been uh, loving to bits, but he was getting a bit. Uh, he was overthinking everything and I don't know how he'd have been in those last two weeks we never truly mm. know what would have happened mm. um, but yes he 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 could have it, I think would have been top two to be honest with you yeah um, that would have been and, a brilliant top two. Oh yeah and if we were top two it, it would have been it would have just been the perfect way for mm. us on a on a very selfish personal level yeah it would have been so so perfect because mm. I genuinely would have been and I would have been happy if Akeem would have won do not get me wrong but I've genuinely been very, very happy if if uh, if Lewis would have won. And I'm definitely, definitely going to be. We're going to go travelling together, me and Lewis. Um, and I'm, he's not not going to. He, I'm going to make sure he's looked after and that he's okay and everything's going oh, well cool. with him. Because he'd have done exactly the same for me. I know for a fact he would have done. So uh, I haven't seen him yet, but I will be seeing him very, very soon. And yeah, we're we're going to be going travelling and and I'll make sure he's looked after and his family's and everybody's okay. Because uh, it was amazing to me in there. It was. Honestly, I, I mean, obviously you'd, you'd got to see most of it on, on television, but we were so close in there. I've never met. So I, honestly, it, I know it's, it sounds ridiculous, but I do view him as a brother and he views me mm. as a brother. And it's it's mm. it really is that family bond. And even when mm. we were arguing, it was that brotherly arguments. I never had mm. a brother, but that's we were arguing the toss of each other. We'd fall out. I hadn't spoke to him for five days, even though it's one day. <laughs> um, but it was all. Just, that's just what it was, and it was because we were so close, and we always came back together, and we were always, always fine with each other. Um, and I'm so grateful that I got to. I mean, never in a billion years would I expected to go in there and and have a friendship like I did with Thomas and a, and a brotherhood like I did with Lewis. It's, Oh, it's unbelievable. It, it was very emotional watching his Instagram live where he was watching you win and he was crying. That was like, that was really heartbreaking. It was really sweet. Um, I know, I, I cried my eyes out when I saw that. Because <laughs> obviously I really would have loved him to have been there at the rap party and to see it all. Um, yeah. But to see him reacting like that was, uh, no, I had to, I cried again, but it's me, it's <laughs> inevitable. <laughs> Can I ask you something for the girls and for the gay guys? Does Lewis F look as good in real life as he does on TV? <laughs> this is the God's honest truth, and you won't believe it, but he actually looks better in real life. Ah! Honestly, it's insane. Because I mean, he looks great possible? on television, but he looks even better in real life. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah. So, what you see is what you get, but there's a little bit more as well. <laughs> we love Lewis F. <laughs> I don't think it's been upset. She's been an absolute right. fucking nightmare. Can you get him to bring out a calendar? I need a Lewis for every day of the month, please. Yeah, a Lewis, a Lewis F calendar next year. Yeah. Well, just a Lewis calendar. Forget the yes. F. Like oh, the yeah, fuck, fuck Lewis G. We don't want him in it. <laughs> no. We see <laughs> see more of him than we wanted to. Oh, goodness gracious me. I saw that too. <laughs> oh, no. What was that all about? I was getting, at one point, I think people thought that me and Lewis G had done something to the rat party. Yeah. <laughs> What was yeah. that all about? Is there any gossip from the rap party you've got to tell us? I didn't know anything. I mean, when Luke A obviously said about um, that there were two people that had obviously, yeah, we know what. Oh, no. That's it. Um, <laughs> and obviously then people were saying, Lewis G and me, Louis, Kian and me. And, then, and and Luke A kept going, one correct. So people in their head had got it that it was me and Lewis, there was me and Lewis G. So then obviously I quote retweeted it and went, uh, no, I can confirm it. it wasn't me, but apparently it was Kian and Lewis G. How true that story is, no. I do not know. But that um, is what Luke that. confirmed. I haven't heard that. Oh my God. Kian, you I can haven't, do better, mate. I haven't God. heard anything. I mean, that would have been one way. If I'd have actually done that with Lewis G, that would have been one oh way to kind God. of. That would have been coming out again. I would have come out for the 53rd wanna, time. You'd want to go back in again after that. <laughs> <laughs> No, but Lucy's a good guy, don't get me wrong. But that story <laughs> shook me. It shook me when I said that because, I mean, I didn't hear any about that. That was unbelievable. That was, well, there were two parties, no? There was the immediate party on the on the finale and then a sort of all Big Brother encompassing rap party where all contestants from previous years went to, right? Um, 
I don't know. Is it because it was such a crazy night? I don't quite know what's happening. I was talking to the medics. I had loggers coming. 